guys this came from my 2002 RAV4 these are original OEM Toyota um, Toyota struts I actually saw the words Toyota on them somewhere let's see where was it when I saw the words Toyota it was somewhere printed on this it's so freaking dirty but anyways the new ones are on and it looks like this I got these O'Reddies I'm gonna try them on see how they work out this is what they look like when they're done pay attention to the video it's gonna show you how to put them the put these in guys I have a 2002 front wheel drive RAV4 um, today I'm going to show you how to take out the uh, this whole unit right here front strut assembly it's very easy I'll show you all the bolts you got to take this one off one here's two that's number two that's number one and then these two big ones three and four that's it for the lower part you don't have to do you don't have to do that one um and then up top it's just one two three that's it okay so i just did i just got done with the other side um ah, these are the that's the new one and this is the new one i just installed so i'm going to make a video here showing how to do the passenger front and side so it was pretty easy pay attention and don't forget the thumbs up right, guys so this is a size 14 millimeter okay that's a 14 right there 14 millimeter socket fits like a glove this one over here on this side this is a 12 millimeter so i already pulled it out okay so that's the bolt that comes out from this side right there all right and then i've got my uh I got a new tool here to add to my collection, a Milwaukee fuel um, long ratchet wrench. I don't know, let's try it out. So far it's, it's okay, it's a little weaker than I thought, but. <sighs> okay, so the problem with this is that you need a vice grip on this side. You need to pinch that and hold it while you take that out. And so that was the other problem I had with the other side is that it wouldn't come out unless I had this vice grip, which was so annoying. Ah, there. So you gotta. See how I put the vice grip on in the back? Yeah, you have to do that. It's really a pain in the ass. Okay, let's try it. frustrating is getting a good grip in the back and clamping it down That's the secret, that's the trick. This is actually the hardest part, was that stupid bolt off that. And this just, how do you get that out? Just, you just wiggle that out until it's loose. Um, 
I'll do that a little later after I loosen the big bolts over here on this side. So now it's time for the big bolts. Let's see. You can see that. The fuel line's a little bit in the ways. This one's already loose. This one's the big bolt. There. And actually, I actually already took the breaker bar to it, so all I need to do is loosen it. Now you're gonna need it's kind of a pain. You're gonna need to hold this side with something. Um, here we go. So this is a size 19 millimeter. And you're gonna need to do it like this. Hold this, I'm gonna use this, and it should work. Okay, let's see if I can get it to work. Let's try that. We go the bolts out all right you can do the other side same thing there you go guys bolts out those are size uh, either 19 or um three three quarter 19 three quarter inch bolt size okay and after you do that you just kind of Knock that out. Probably better to use a hammer than this. But this comes out just like that. This comes out. Wiggle it a little bit. The knuckle's gonna fall down, so be careful. Okay, there she goes. So I got these two bolts out. I gotta take off this sway bar here. It's kind of annoying. Uh, probably should get a rubber mallet for that. Tap that out. Let me just tap it out. Get a hammer or something. Gently tap it out with a rubber mallet. And that's it. And then, and then it's pretty much done. Uh, let's see what I got. freaking seized on or something. Jesus. I'll have to wiggle it out. I'm gonna loosen the top bolts now. So up here on top, I'm gonna loosen these three first and then I'll take the sway bar off last. Uh, I'm tired. Okay. I'm gonna pause it for a second, take these three bad boys out. I think those are size 14 or 15. Let's see, those are 14. So those are 14. The new ones that I put on are gonna be 15. So just be mindful of that. First, I'm going to loosen these. Oh, God, these are tough. Let me uh, get a breaker bar or something first. I might need a breaker bar. I don't want to 
damage my other tools. Let's see. Okay, let's just muscle it out. That's fine. That's fine. All right, that was it. That was pretty easy, actually. Use this to. Just like that. strut assembly comes with new bolts, new nuts. All right, well, it didn't collapse down here, so I'll show you what it looks like. It did fall. Um, this thing's pretty loose. Oh, God. So, it's pretty loose. I'm probably going to get a rubber mallet and see if I can pop this thing out. I'm not sure why the hell this sway bar is so damn stuck on. I feel like it's just freaking seized on. Get a rubber mallet and just hit that, hit that out. Still recording? Okay, I got my hammer. I'm gonna try to. Not 
sure why. The hell. It's being a pain in the ass. There we go. That's it, guys. The whole thing comes out. I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the old one. Pretty much beat to hell. And, uh,. It's all torn up down there. The other one had a bunch of oil on the bottom. I'll show you. Here's the new one. That's the new one. Here's what the other old one looked like. It had grease all over it. So that one was like blown to bits and pieces, all torn up. Okay. Today was a day of no rain. So this RAV4 has uh, 209,000 miles right now. 209,000 miles. I'm not sure if these are original or not, but they are shot. Actually, they are. It says Toyota right on it. So, uh, the other ones I took off were original. Can you freaking believe that? Jesus, that's nuts. All right, so to get these up, you have to line it just right. That's actually the second hardest part, is aligning the top. Let's see if I can show you guys how to do that without help. If you can get help, seriously, it's a hell of a lot easier doing it with help. So, if you can, get two hands, okay? It came with three new bolts. Okay. The fun part. It sucks. First of all, you have to line it just right. And who knows? I think this is the way. Just kind of need to fidget with it. Stick it in the holes, the three holes at the same time. Oh, that's what she said. Damn it. There we go. I have a feeling this will be a perfect setup. One. Two, nope. Let's try that. Nope. This has got to be it right here. It's got to be it. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. See that? Oh. One person, guys. It's a lot easier with two. But you know what? It's doable with one. Did you guys see how the hell I did that? Man, that was a pain in the ass. Okay, so now I got that done. The rest is easy. And you know what, guys? Seriously, it's a freaking pain in the ass trying to film and do this. So, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm gonna do these things without making videos. Yeah, make my life easy, but nope. I make my life hard for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so right here it says FR, front right. Front right, that's passenger right side. Make sure you guys pay attention to that stuff, because if you don't, bad things will happen, man. 
bad things can happen. God, this thing's a little funky, isn't it? Okay, I see, it's just because this is off. Um, okay, so first, let's actually put in the sway bar. That's probably the first thing we want to do. Sway bar first, get your nut. You don't have to tighten it all the way just yet. But the sway bar is on, so that's good. And then after the sway bar, I'm going to put on the knuckle. So the knuckle is pretty easy to put in, just like this. And where's my bolts? Oh, bolts on this side. Make sure you pay attention how the bolts go in. Get the first one in. The rest is easy. Okay, so, God, I hope this video turns out good. Because <sighs> I'm not doing it again. All right, here's the other bolt. It's gonna slide right on in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna wiggle it. There we go. Push it in all the way. Wiggle, wiggle until it comes on through. Just like that. And then this one's gonna go on last. Right over there. See how it just slides into that little that little groove right there? Yep. That's it, fellas. That's the brake line. And it uses a 12, 12 millimeter. It's a 12 millimeter right here. So I got the bolts all in. Now I have to tighten every single one of them. That's in one, one, two, three, four, and then up top is the three bolts. Don't forget to tighten these. These, I don't know how many foot pounds to be honest. I just know that you gotta tighten them pretty damn, pretty damn tough, pretty heavy. Probably a hundred pounds or something, who knows. Um, me, I just freaking tighten it good. That's what I do, that's my style. You guys do what makes you happy. If you guys can figure out how what the torque specs are, Go ahead and put it in the comments for everybody else. It's great to share, so. <sighs> Honestly, freaking, probably would've cost me a thousand bucks at Les Schwab's or some place to have them do this for me, who knows? They charge a ridiculous amount nowadays. Um, I got a quote on my Prius to do the front two, front two shocks and struts assembly. It was over a thousand dollars, guys, and I just shit my pants, and I was like, F that, I'm gonna do my own. So, I'll do that in my Prius Prime later, but for now, this is on the RAV4. That's it, just tighten everything up, put the wheels back on, we're done. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Guys, I'm back, I forgot to tell you something. So, I just did, I just tightened the three up top first, um, and then now I'm, I, I'm tightening the sway bar link you're gonna have to get your vise grip and hold the back of that while you tighten it, okay? So make sure you're doing that while you're tightening it. We did it when we had to take it out and you still gotta do it when you reverse it. Give it one of these guys.